to count the number of cells that have a number below 50, we created a count if formula. So we typed our number here, and then with our count if formula, we said check these cells. We put in the less than symbol, and then with an ampersand, joined that to the minimum score that's required to pass. When we press enter, that count if formula shows that three students had below 50. Now to give people more flexibility with this, we're letting them type in a minimum score and they can change that. But we can make this count if formula more flexible if we also let them change this less than symbol to something else. So on another worksheet, I've typed a list of operators. So equals, greater than, greater than, equal to, less than, less than or equal to, and not equal to. I'm going to select all those cells and click in the name box and type op list and press enter. So now this is our operator list called op list and we'll be able to use that in this operator cell. On the ribbon I'll click the data tab and go to data validation and I would like to create a list and the source I'm going to type an equal sign and then I'll press the F3 key on my keyboard and that shows the names I've created so there's op list I'll click OK so now that list should show up in this cell when I click OK we can see the drop down arrow and those are the operators so we'll select greater than as our operator. And now I'm going to go to the count if formula. And instead of our operator in quote marks, I'm just going to click on the cell that has the operator. So it's going to take whatever is in E6 combined with F6. When I press enter, seven students had a score greater than 50. So I could change that to less than, and the number changes to 3.